All right, UFC 83. Uh, about fucking time. The long-awaited rematch between George uh, St. Pierre and Matt Serra. I'll get to that in a second. Uh, Mark Boshek versus Mac Danzig. Mac, he's on a roll, man. Uh, he can't be stopped. One of the toughest skinny dudes you'll ever see. Charles McCarthy versus Michael Bisping. Basically, uh, Dana Wyatt's uh, teacher's pet versus uh, Charles McCarthy, uh, a man who's um, really unknown. But any of us who saw uh, Rocky 1 or 2 know that you can't write this man off. Anyone who saw Gabriel Gonzaga versus Mirko Krokop knows you can't definitely can't write a man off before the uh, bell has rang its bell. I want to give the uh, fight to uh, Dana's teacher's pet, Nate Query versus uh, Caleb Starnes. Caleb seems to be in, uh, being a drought since that uh, that Ultimate Fighter, so I'm gonna give that fight to uh, Nate Query. He's all healed from his uh, back surgery, and uh, he beat that Pete Cell kind of convincingly. Uh, Travis Luter versus Rich Franklin. I don't see why they don't just call this UFC uh, UFC 83. Dana White's favorites. Uh, obviously, he gave Rich Franklin every chance in the world to get that belt dismantled twice by Anderson Silva. And I see the same thing happening to Michael Bisping. But anyway, yeah, Rich Franklin's solid fighter. He's still Dana's teacher's pet, though. Rich Franklin going to win that one. Um, TKO. Matt DeTerracera versus George Rush St. Pierre. You know, people consider the first fight uh, one of the biggest upsets in UFC history. But uh, that Matt Serra, the... A BJJ black belt, but got a chip on his shoulder and one pissed off little man. Those men are capable of anything. Those guys, they feisty little fuckers. And I don't consider that an upset too much, as much as anyone else thinks. Honestly, I would give this fight to uh, Matt Serra, but he's coming off back surgery. And I feel Dana has rushed him into this fight because uh, he hurt his back in November. And anyone who knows anything about anything knows you can't come back from a, a back injury and like a serious back injury in like five months. So, I, I, you know, Dana White was yapping in his ear, oh, you got to fight, you got to fight, you can't be holding on to the belt, you can't be holding on. So, Dana White forced him into this fight. Um, common sense, I, I don't got proof, but common sense, you know, would say. Uh, so, But I think St. Pierre is going to pull this one out for the fact that uh, Matt Serra won't be 100%. Matt's a, Matt's a little warrior, he ain't going to say, oh, my, my back hurts. He ain't going there and fucking start throwing. But I see St. Pierre winning this fight, maybe by rear naked choke. On second thought, I think that... Uh, I think the fight might go to a decision. I'm, I'm called decision, and I'm gonna give the decision to uh, George St. Pierre uh, first of all, because if it goes to a decision, there ain't no chance in hell that he's gonna give the decision to Matt Serra. I guarantee you that. Speaking of judges, let me uh, t- say a little something about that Cecil Peoples. He is the most ignorant sports judging official on the planet Earth. If you go back and look at his track record of fights and how he scored them, I don't know how many fights he's given to Tito Ortiz. I'm 99% sure he was part of that Michael Bisping uh, decision over Matt Hamill. The worst decision in the history of anything that has to do with combative sports. Basically, these judges ain't going to give it to Matt Serra. They don't understand the art of uh, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. I don't think they consider it art. They're more in the striking. They uh, give more points to the, uh, the striking. Even if a man's swinging and missing for days, you know, he could be missing by miles. It, it seems like the judges just give him points on punches thrown. And it's, it's really sad. It screws over a lot of fighters who are uh, well-versed in the art. Uh, so, uh, Cecil Peoples, uh, you suck. Uh, you suck really bad as a, a judge. You've screwed over a lot of fighters for W's. Just think about it. What if uh, Herb Dean is reffing and Cecil Peoples is one of the judges? Oh, man. I, I mean, I like Herb Dean. He approves all my MySpace comments. He's a cool dude. But he is notorious for stopping fights either way too soon or way too late. So we'll see. We'll see. I don't see either fighter giving up or getting knocked out again. Hey, hey man, you see that... Uh, that Dana White, uh, last, uh, Ultimate Fighter. Yeah, man, um, my homeboy got, like, knocked out. And then Dana White was, like, throwing up, like, a hang loose sign to the guy who won. How unprofessional is that? What a little bitch. Unprofessional. A wolf and wolf's closing, if you ask me. Don't even belong on the tables with, uh, Forrest Griffin and, uh, Rampage Jackson. No, he doesn't. Uh, he just looking for his camera time. Oh, ain't that cute? Dana White looking for some camera time. Oh, Dana White want to be a celebrity. Dana White, man, stay in your office, dude. Get off the camera. Get off the camera, cue ball. No one wants to look at you. We want to see fighters. Is that my, my damn phone?